Um, were, were you going to uh, mention anything about order book? I can if you want. I can show you that really quickly. Um, well, maybe just kind of what their appetites with it as far as uh, uh, this is really in the, in the infantile stage for us guys, but uh, I think Chris is going to just briefly cover it and uh, then we'll have conversations about it later. But uh, it could open up a great, great, great avenue for uh, business with our existing customers. So. The big thing is really from your customer's perspective, we have a, a customer capital heating and cooling in Lincoln that is coming on board with order book. We just had meetings on it today actually with Bruce and I think it's going to go really well, but order book is an app that you would provide to your customers on your side. You'll deal with it in Rome and the app looks like this. There's also an administrative side. Um, but essentially, this would be given to service techs that, you know, are out there doing either commercial uh, air conditioning, refrigeration service, or maybe a heating service van. And what it's designed to do is to give access to your customers in an app uh, to all of your products. And then secondarily to the list of the two or three or four hundred items that they use most commonly. Let me pull up another So we loaded into order booked all of uh, not Wayne Dennis, Dennis Supply stock. And then we also loaded for capital all of the material they've used in the past. And this is essentially a, an order book of those items. And so what we then do at its simplest form, let me get my, my app back. This is the app. And there's a barcode reader that's integrated here. So I can go in and let's say I'm going to use a capacitor off my truck. I can hit the barcode reader and you'll and I'm going to read the barcode on my screen. And see it just read the code. And now I can just say I'm going to use that part. And so the guy that was on the truck just recorded that capacitor's usage. And so Dennis Supply can see that usage. But if I go on my app now and you can see as he's going through his days using parts off his truck, he can either scan um, off the boxes and that this reads uh, UPCs, but he also can scan off the book or off of bin labels that, that they can create off of this order book template. So now if we go in and look at all of his accumulated usage, I can click reorder and you can see that we've used the start capacitor that we just barely used. Earlier in the day, we used a 12RP, which I think is an April Air part, a Honeywell fan timer, and a flow meter. So now it can reorder that part. Either the tech can reorder it if the contractor wants to allow a tech to reorder, or the tech can hit replenish, and it will go to a purchasing administrator, and they'll approve it. The other thing that we can do is we can search your entire parts database. And there's some speed here too. So if I want a 3450 motor, it's one that's easy for me to remember, but I can type in 3450 and search. These are all the 3450 motors and I can go in and look at it and I can order it. Or I, if I want to search for something, I can search by category. You guys have stock categories. And it's pretty well organized, I think. But I can go in and say, okay, I want to see um, all of the controls igniters. And I'm going to pull up all of the igniters that are in Dennis Supplies Igniters inventory. Isn't that cool? Or I could have searched for igniter. But you can see here in the one in the center of my screen that's spelled I N G N I T E R. That wouldn't have come up on an alpha search, but it will come up in a category search. And I can either look at the item, use the item, or, or put in a one-time order. So if I now come back in from a management standpoint, and I can log in as capital. And basically what they now can see is they can see um, quite a bit. They can see locations of their service vehicles. But they also can see all of the usage details of the material. So you can see this is the order that we just recorded or the, the usage. And we can see where it was used. 
um, so that they can keep track of all of their inventory locations. So we can look at that. They have three of them right now. So one for Chris, one for Justin, one for Darren. They can be a van, but they also could be a shop stock location. And we can have one or more than one person assigned to that stock location. And we can have more than one shipping location. So if you have a customer that's pretty big and they want material shipped to remote locations for a particular uh, stock, we can do that. Also, if you have a customer that covers all of Iowa, let's say, you can have fulfillment centers from different offices based on the, the uh, stock location. So you might fulfill one out of Des Moines and one out of someplace else. Um, but right now we're just working in Lincoln. So if the management wants to replenish the order now, this is the truck I was working off from. And we have four items that we've used off of my truck today and Justin's used three. And I can click replenish, just hit that and the order will be placed. The contractor has several options about how to use this. The tech can place orders. A purchasing manager can place orders and not the tech, or the system can automatically place orders on a calendar schedule. So it's it's got some pretty pretty good capabilities. But the bottom line here is we give the business owner the ability to keep track of what's on his trucks and to keep track of usage. This time of year, guys probably go through igniters and, and blower motors and, and ignition modules and stuff like that, like water. And a lot of times they don't get the replacement parts back on their truck. With this, they will. And you'll get the order and they'll spend less time driving back and forth. And the other big thing is that this will really help business owners control shrinkage, which is something that they really like. So that's like the uh, elevator pitch on order book, but it's pretty exciting. Yeah, that looks really, really good. A lot of potential there. Yeah. And so we've hey, just real quick for everybody, just so you know, when what's going on with this order book right now is we're we're doing a test with Capital out of Lincoln. This is going to work in in tune with uh, Rome, and and it, it, it's something that, that could be outstanding. You know, once once we get it up and running, and and then move to a couple other companies uh, nearby that we're going to test this with, and and we'll keep all you guys posted. Yeah, it's um. It started as a uh, as a uh, defensive strategy for another one of our customers, uh, uh, Meyer Supply in New York. Johnstone Supply has a program like this, kind of like it. And they were basically after a couple of uh, Meyer's big customers. And they were going to lose the parts business if they couldn't give them a, a fulfillment, electronic fulfillment alternative. And so we developed this, and they've been able to maintain that parts business. I have another customer, a $250,000 account to R.E. Michael last year. And with this, they'll get it back this fall. It's kind of defensive in that R.E. Michael, Ferguson, Johnstone, and a few others of the big hitters have programs out there that they've, that they've been pitching stuff like this. And this will help you compete with that or get ahead of that. So I, I think it's pretty exciting. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, the question is, how does the counter guy get to see this order that these people are ordering? Right now, on our test, there are three people that are getting these fulfillment orders, and they receive them via email. I think if this gets more broadly implemented, we will probably try to convert that into an electronic system that your system will pick up and we'll have to figure out the best way to notify the person that's pulling that order. Um, so we're walking before we run. Right now, Bruce will get a copy of the order and two other people get copies of any orders. And it's kind of like a faxed in order. Number one, it's a benefit to us as much as it is to the contractor because that's, that's kind of what it is. It really ties the contractor into us um, that's why we see a, a huge benefit in this and capital they fell in love with this when we first started showing it to them 